Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got two teams who will look to their running backs if they want to control the pace of the game. It's Thomas Rawls Seahawks going up against Paul Perkins Giants. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the sight of their men in blue emerging from the MetLife tunnels. We're set to go as the Giants get ready to match up with the Seattle Seahawks. Hi again, folks. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And as we all know, Charles, offenses today, they're driven by the passing attack. But Larry highlighted in the open a couple of running backs who might just disagree with that assessment. Yeah, and sometimes, occasionally, you get a game where running backs will match each other, kind of carry for carry on opposite teams. But for the most part, they focus on themselves. How many touches will they get? And can they create big plays for their own team? And both of these guys, certainly more than five, 10 touchbacks. They're workhorses. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Get our first look at Seattle's offense here in just a second. There's Russell Wilson. He and his mates were able to stave off the Los Angeles Rams, Charles, in week five, and Wilson 260 total yards of offense. That's not much in the NFL, and that's not the type that takes over a game keeps the ball away from the other team and helps out your defense. Fortunately for Russell Wilson, he plays with a defense that helps him out. Ended up having five takeaways in a road victory against Los Angeles. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Looking for Baldwin intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. Brandon, when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach and talked about how they wanted to begin this game offensively, they talked about their script, didn't they? 10 to 15 plays, the first 10 to 15 they had on their script. Nowhere on the script was there throwing an interception, I have to believe. And now out come the Giants. They'll start this drive with very good field position. A first carry now for Paul Perkins. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. Here's Manning to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Now a first carry here for Shane Vereen. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. K.J. Wright just keeps getting better at outside linebacker. Long, lengthy guy, can rush the passer, can drop into coverage. Has great agility, though, to stay on his feet and make tackles, too. And still has years ahead of him. Turned 27 in July, native of Olive Branch, Mississippi. On fourth down, off goes Manning, and on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas, for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And the kick by Rosas is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. 
So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us want to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Thomas Rawls and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21 yard line call it a loss of two on the play and that'll make it second and 12 every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays they run like DBs and let's face it they know how to finish plays too eyes up head up run right through them And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. From the shotgun, Wilson. Oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. And here's the starting offensive unit for Seattle. In music, the Seattle sound is distinctive. In the NFL, it's the Seattle running game, usually ranked in the top five in the NFL. It fell to number 25 in 2016, and they're trying to revamp the offensive line and find a bell cow running back in order to get things moving again. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. They go play action with Wilson. And able to find Graham, complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Jimmy Graham had a really tough injury in 2015 that ended his season, but what a bounce back in 2016. How did he not get any votes for comeback player of the year? I was just going to ask you that. Not that Jordy Nelson wasn't deserving, but 65 catches, 923 yards. That was the highest total by a tight end in Seahawk history. And I think there's a chance that both of those numbers will increase in 2017. down this is Rawls and he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41 give him three on first down it'll set up a second and seven and the defense for New York Norris Jenkins was always thought of as a first round talent coming out of college and while he went in the second round he got better and better in his years with the Rams because of his ability to track the football. In fact, when he got his hands on the ball, it often went the other way for touchdowns. And in his first year in 2016 with the Giants, he continued to ascend at the cornerback position, locked down some of the better receivers in the league, and his confidence grew with each and every game. Now Wilson on second down. And a grab made by Doug Baldwin. First down, Seahawks, Wilson to Baldwin. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of the game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here.
first down, Wilson. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Damon Harrison able to swap him from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Second down, Rawls. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Here's Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And all the way down to the five. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Now, this will be the ninth play on this drive. To the ground attack. It's Rawls. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Thomas Rawls. An eight yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there. And they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. A 10-play drive that time. And it's Thomas Rawls who finishes it off with a touchdown run. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> 
Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. The drive starts with a run by Perkins. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down and four. From the gun, it's Manning. Throw left side complete. It's Shepard. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Throwing on first down is Manning. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and that'll bring up second down. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing is Manning on third down. He's going to wind up and air it out. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Giants. Roger Lewis, 62 yards. And the Giants are in for six. Yeah, he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play, and just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well, because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Five plays there on that drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Rosas now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? 
it, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score board watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second down, Wilson. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Jason Pierre-Paul in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. From the gun, it's Wilson. The locket with a grab over the middle. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Now John Ryan, 12th year in the league, on to punt it away as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And it'll be giant football first and ten. And New York set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They'll let Perkins carry to start the drive. <laughs> get this one across the 35. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Again, they go to Perkins. Room to run past midfield. He's at the 30, past the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Paul Perkins, 63 yards. And the Giants strike quickly here for six points. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Rosas now to add the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. Took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if we got, got to be casualties at times, we're trying to win a game. They start on the ground with Rawls. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Offense readies for a second and one. Throwing is Wilson. And that's complete to Luke Wilson. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Wilson going to give to Rawls. And down to the 36-yard line here. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Operating from the gun, Wilson. It's caught, lock it. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Wilson to lock it there for the Seahawk first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. The first carry now, this is Lacey. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. time it's Rawls trying to run inside but nothing there maybe a gain of a yard that time but now yeah, from the spot actually no gain so third and long so they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one 17-7 our score back to MetLife Stadium in just a moment
The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two. They're in the midst of a nice drive, but facing a third and long here. Operating from the gun. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When they talk about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. So on fourth down, Pete Carroll's going to call out his field goal unit. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. All right, try the 50 yarder and miss it. And now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Here's Perkins on first down. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On second down, here's Manning. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Shotgun now for Manning. And Ingram holds it in. The pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. And this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Man, 
and going to give it to Perkins. Heck of a move, but only able to work his way down near the 23. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down, Perkins. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try to pick it up with Perkins. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Saying just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Now a carry here for Orleans Darquan. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups and gets into the offensive backfield. And there it works for a tackle for loss. The Giants on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. They'll run here with Vereen. And the spin looked pretty, but more for style points as the real estate evaporated quickly there. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. On fourth down, off goes Manning, and on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas, for the field goal try. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Rosas puts this one through. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. It's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. the field goal. Here's Rosas to kick it away. Tyler Lockett now with a return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. 
Doug Baldwin and company getting ready to go again on offense. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far, just a single catch in this game. On first down, got his man complete over the middle. It's Richardson. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. A fake to Rawls. Now it's Wilson. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, Wilson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Tenth carry for Thomas Rawls. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Play action. It's Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion.
Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. All -star offense. So that'll back him up five. Still first down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction. Defense. So five yards there as one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. <laughs> Following the penalty, it's Rawls. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. They stay on the ground. Rolls again. And, oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. here on first down. Rush coming and he's taken down. Dalvin Tomlinson with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Second down, here's Wilson. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Eddie Lacy, the one he was trying to get it to. Third down here. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. It's Wilson. And that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And Walsh able to convert it as his kick is good. And that cuts into the deficit. It's now 20 to 10. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at him. They only gave up three points. 
In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. Now after the made field goal, Walsh back out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep what? everybody here. <laughs> Let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. Coming up at halftime, remember, we'll get you out to Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of this first half. That is, of course, unless you decide to skip him. And for the record, we do not encourage that. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push him back more. Manning going to give to Perkins on the draw. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, Manning. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. The fourth-year man from LSU, Brad Wing, to punt it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, the All-Pro returner from 2015, Tyler Lockett. <laughs> and that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And time for us to spotlight Doug Baldwin. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter. They're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree. So you have to give them credit. But that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. Baldwin with it over the middle. 
And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Wilson again to Rawls. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake to Rawls. Wilson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin. And that'll make it third down. The name of the game is always on defense. Put pressure on the quarterback, and that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third down and 12. From the shotgun, Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and they just continued there with that incompletion. And definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's John Ryan now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Eli Manning and company getting set here as they head back onto the field. They've sort of epitomized balance. I mean, he's thrown the ball pretty well. They've run the ball well. Got to be pretty happy over on that sideline. Takes a lot of pressure off, doesn't it? As much as those guys back there want to throw the ball around and be the focal point, when you're able to run it well and hold the defense back from their pass rush, it allows you to throw it as well as we're seeing so far in this game. Yeah, now they'll be looking to add to their lead here in the second quarter. First and ten, here's Manning. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for loss yardage. Manning to throw on second down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. So a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. Operating from the gun, Manning. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Here's Brad Wing now, standing right on his own five yard line. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. The drive begins with a run by Rawls. 
and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On first and ten, it's Wilson. It's caught outright by Graham. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. So here we go, first and ten now. From the gun, he'll throw. And he gets it down to the 32. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front as we'll send you down the coast to Orlando where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. I'm Larry Ridley and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. The Giants are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Seahawks just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Seahawks lined up at the 48. Lockett's by himself here, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the eight-yard line. Sticking with the same drive, Rawls is able to get clear of the defense, and he cap off the long drive with the TD. Seahawks go up by four. Giants with possession halfway through one. Lewis has got nobody around him on the deep pass, and it ends up working for a touchdown. First and 10, that puts them up by a field goal. Perkins is able to get clear of everybody. He gone as he sprints to the end zone. Okay, Larry, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They built a good first half lead, now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. 
Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Perkins on the give from Manning. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They go with Perkins again. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So the offense has it first and 10. to Perkins. Now a loose football. The ball comes out and the Seahawks have picked it up. The 20. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. An extra point try now for Walsh. It's up and good, and the lead's now down to three at 20-17. to 17. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded at the goal line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Try right side with Perkins. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. give it's Perkins and he's brought down getting this one up to about the 35 a nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks 
But this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. On play action, now Manning. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. And fans, a quick reminder from the NFL, after nearly a decade of working together in the fight against breast cancer, this year the NFL and the American Cancer Society, they're broadening the scope of their efforts to tackle multiple types of cancer. And you can learn more about the expanded Crucial Catch initiative and access the Defender, a new digital tool that provides personalized tips on reducing your cancer risk at NFL.com slash Crucial Catch. And I applaud the NFL for broadening its, its scope here because Cancer affects us all in many different ways, and now everyone will have the ones that they can focus on and be able to support. He's going to flip one out here to his running back, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Giants on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Perkins, he'll get three up to midfield. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? it closed fast. Here we go with second and seven. Perkins and he's going to be stopped up at about the 47 yard line three yards on the pickup that's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go well that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes but they've been moving it well all game on the ground this is another one that keeps them moving forward the Giants on third down they're at 50 percent four for eight this is third and four from the gun Manning And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Brad Wing now as he's on to punt for New York. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half, too, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll try to get the running game going with Rawls. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. 
three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Now Wilson on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. On third down, Wilson. He's going to let this one go deep. So they took a shot there on third down. Couldn't get it. Now it's four. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. But guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well. But on that one, he just overshot him. Here's John Ryan now as he's on to punt for Seattle. This is taken around the 12. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Eli Manning getting ready to go again on offense. The lead is theirs here in the third quarter, but it's really been the ground game that's been the recipe for success. You mean the spotlight isn't shining as brightly on the guy throwing it? No, it's the man behind him that's had a heck of a game. And that's really okay. That's actually what you're looking for. I mean, your pride tells you, hey, I want to be responsible. I want to throw a bunch of touchdown passes. But when you're able to run the football, typically speaking, your team's doing pretty well. And in this case, they're winning. We'll see if they have balance on this drive. Play action. Manning. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Now Wilson on first down. Over the middle complete. That's Baldwin. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At some point, the doubters have to just kind of back off with Doug Baldwin, don't they? I mean, we talk about back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons. Had over 90 catches in 2016. He's going to play with a chip on his shoulder, but he's going to be productive. 2016, also his first Pro Bowl as well. The busy afternoon continues for Rawls. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The Seahawks on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This time they face a third and two. They run with a power back, Rawls. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. 
So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Red zone opportunity. First down, this is Rawls. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Second down following the run. Lacey gets the handoff from Wilson, and he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the 15-yard line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, add that play to his resume, Real, because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Illegal touching. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So on fourth down, Pete Carroll's going to call out his field goal unit. And Walsh able to convert it as his kick is good. And that's going to tie things at 20. So a little fortunate there because that one was definitely leaking right. Without a doubt, maybe about the width of a football or so inside that right upright. But he got it to go. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Starts with a run by Perkins. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And they finally bring him down, but he reaches the 16. A big play there for the Giants. 58 yards. Well, this game's ripe for the taking, and that run, I think it means he wants to take it. Not only does he want to take it, he doesn't care what they're going to do on the defensive side of the ball. You can be prepared for him. He's coming at you anyway. Oh, 
And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. six he'll wind up getting 11 on that one and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard look the first down marker is out there but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation which usually means throw the football in this case they went against the tendency and ran it and boy the reward was there a big big pickup and guess what it's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%, four for nine. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. From the gun, it's Manning. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And the kick by Rosas is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So it's his third field goal now of the ball game, and they have needed his leg because this last one gives them the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, Brandon, but now you've got to tell your defense, hey, we need a stop here so we can let this momentum carry us through to the next drive. To the field goal. Here's Rosas to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21 yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you do, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Offense. And that'll set them back five. for Thomas Rawls. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick 
and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. So it'll be first down here after the run. They snap it at one. Now Wilson. And Graham's got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. On second down, Wilson. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and it'll be third and ten. If you're a selfish player, and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and ten. Now Wilson. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Damon Harrison in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's John Ryan now. He's been terrific so far. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. As you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block.
Rosas to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And out now come the Seahawks. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They go play action here on first down. And left side here, it's Graham. A nice gain of 21 yards. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Now Wilson. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Olivier Vernon in there to sack him for a loss of six. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Wilson now to throw on second down. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? The Seahawks on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun, it's Wilson. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Hey. 
A fake to Rawls. Now it's Wilson. His throw caught right around the six. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. offense. That's going to set them back five yards. Wilson going to give to Rawls. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. Encroachment defense. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Rolls his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Seahawks have made this a one score game he's having a nice little game maybe already has an eye on that third touchdown and how about what our producer Christian McLeod likes to say when they've scored touchdowns like this he's put a tent up in touchdown city and the lead is down to a field goal now So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's Thomas Rawls who finishes it off with a touchdown run. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash, <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> 
They'll let Perkins carry to start the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Brandon's all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> Again, they go to Perkins. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back at the 24-yard line. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. You hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's Brad Wing now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. there holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Here's Wilson. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Jason Pierre-Paul in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Second down, offense behind the sticks here. Second and 13. And here's Wilson operating from the gun. He finds his running back, Rawls. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. nickel formation here defensively. They go play action now. Wilson. And incomplete on the deep ball. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to with you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle <laughs> yourselves. I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Here's John Ryan now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 
A big kick that time, 52 yards. The New York set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Here's Perkins on first down. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. A nickel look by Seattle on third down. Yep, five defensive backs now. Shotgun now for Manning. It's caught, Shepard. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 more yards there and another first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Manning going to give it to Perkins as he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards and it's second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets it down to the 32. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And at this stage of the game, time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Hey, 
Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. On second down, Perkins. And he is leveled. Knocked down hard at the 28. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. It's Marine. And some room to work. The 12 yards and time and picking up the first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it now out of the gun. <laughs> and effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. And now the Seahawks are going to call another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. yards to go for the offense. First down and goal from that five-yard line. First and goal, Perkins. And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. Paul Perkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants add on to their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And finishing it off with a touchdown run, Paul Perkins.
Rosas now to kick this one away. On the return, the All-Pro two years ago, Tyler Lockett. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Throwing now is Wilson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Wilson to throw. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That catch good for five. It's third down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time is going to run off the clock. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Now Wilson. They're able to locate Wilson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. One Wilson to another for a Seahawk first down. Here's Wilson. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Olivier Vernon in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Obviously a tough spot here. They need a lot of luck to win this game, but still a small chance. They've got to make sure they get the ball to the sidelines, get out of bounds, preserve clock. On second down, here's Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Third and long, it's Wilson. And he's got his man, it's Darbo. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And a spike comes now with just under 40 ticks left. So second and 10 here. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment, defense. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. yards left for the offense it's second down gotcha. 
so the false start will back them up five. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Wilson will throw again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Richardson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. This will be the ninth play on this drive. On second down, Rawls try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let it fly. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Giants are close to finishing off this football game. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. take a knee and that should be the final act in this one well I know at points in this one you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard you're a defensive guy but it was a fun little track meet wasn't it it was and you know the people really enjoyed this game they're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Giants are winners as we say.